Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Guys, we know this game right now is not in the best of states, right? Post Team of the Year, people aren't happy, but can future stars and one specific part about it bring some hype back to this game? Because with some of the leaks and the pat code and information that we're hearing about this promo coming out yesterday, it's starting to get us a little excited, and I want to talk about that today and look forward to what you can maybe do to prepare slightly ahead of time and what to watch out for on the game today. If you're excited for it and you're hopeful that future stars can save this game, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content. It was quiet apart from the refreshed SBCs. Now, yesterday, the way that I actually traded and main coins in this game, and maybe some of you guys did as well in multiple different ways, was this The Winner's SBC. It's the final SBC needed to complete the objective set uh, in the Road to the Final Tour, or whatever it's called, in the objective section. And it's kind of difficult to complete because you have to have a certain number of uh, leagues and a certain number of clubs. It's 7,000 coins to do and a lot of people are doing it of course to complete that objective set and to get those packs. Guys, yesterday we did a solution trading method that is something that we often see in like the first week of the game. Basically, if you don't want to trade with this, check your club because there are cards like this Tainara who I just bought for 550, sold for, sold for 1,800 coins. Uh, Wang sold for 2,400, bought her for 400 coins and some other crazy prices like Wiedemeyer. These random golds are flying. They're, they're just flying. Like a couple sales here at 400 because I bought her at 350 and wanted to get out. Then I sold another one at 4.9. Like guys, some of these cards have gone absolutely mental. These gold commons and gold rares on the market. Just sold some sports yellows for 39 and 3,500 that I picked up for four, 500 coins on bid. So right now that is a really good place to trade if you want to watch that side of the market because people are doing this SBC and it's difficult to do. So they are using solutions to help them with that. And the solutions make the price go up and down for those gold common cards. Now that was the only new SBC yesterday, but we also had the refreshes as we had talked about before of the 87 plus icon and the 84 times 11 did end up refreshing yesterday. So it did make a couple of fodder prices move, but really it, it didn't make things move that much. I just think that honestly, with the content being what it is right now, a lot of people are still feeling like they're in that break period. They're not doing a lot of these SBCs to drain their coins. Maybe if they are, they're just not buying the players to do it. But I think it's really just, there's a lack of demand for some of the stuff. Now, some of the 86s yesterday with the 84 times 11 and with future stars upcoming and a lot of people wanting to open that right now for road to the final or save it for future stars, which is what I I did maybe went out and did that i think 86s had a bit of a bump yesterday but 88s guys they, they didn't even really move and they kind of are now down lower than where they were beforehand just because i think people who invested are kind of trying to sell off before rivals rewards today and before of marquee matchups which would supply the market with tradable cards so yeah it's a little unfortunate like those 88s didn't go up that much but if you were did that trade i know a couple of people got some lazy sales and other than that like 85s went up a little bit yesterday 84s are up like one, 200 coins a card, but really not that much. It was a day of fodder movements not being that extreme just because the content wasn't that great. Now, also, we had a brand new team of the week that dropped yesterday with a couple of interesting players inside of it. Um, you know, I mean, I like these boosts. I like the 85 rated minimums. It is making things interesting, especially for being a USA guy, this Taylor Booth card. That looks pretty cool, right? Maybe an Evo in the future. But I think I'm a little disappointed with some of the playstyle pluses. Uh, or lack thereof for some of these team of the weeks. Mateus Cunha gets the Trivella playstyle plus. It is a better version than his storyline card that I know a lot of people used and had earlier on in the game. He's four star, four star, Trivella plus again. But like you look at the rest of this promo team and there's a lot of cards that are not including playstyle pluses. Um, this Manchester United striker, right wing, right mid, geese, 93 physical, 91 dribbling, 92 pace. Kind of a crazy, crazy card here and pretty rare. I think she just went up like 40 or 50K. She was down like 250 yeah, and is now 300,000 coins. So these cards are rare. Be careful with them. Uh, but, you know, just another kind of average team of the week and basically new fodder 85 rated cards for us to um, to have in our ultimate team clubs. I will say this. Um, I don't know if any of these fit evolutions because with the 85 rating for sure. But, I mean, it's not a bad time as we've seen with informs for Evos. It's not going to be a bad time that if you pick one of these, maybe out of bio, um, maybe I'm trying to think of who else. I don't know if Delict would ever fit an Evo with the Playstyle Plus for a while, but maybe Taylor Booth as well. It's not the worst thing in the world 
to keep thinking about with team of the weeks if you have a lot of coins buying one and putting it on the transfer list or putting it in the club and not thinking about it because eventually they just go up like crazy because either they fit an evo or they get hyped for something else so yesterday was a really really quiet day a lot of gameplay getting rivals in and stuff like that but of course that loading screen and that's what i want to turn the conversation into today is we got to talk more about future stars because that loading screen yesterday kind of went crazy i know that a graphic you're like nate does that actually mean that much I think it does, man. I mean, this is way out there for what EA normally does for a loading screen. Like, when I first saw this yesterday, I don't know why it reminded me of it, but it kind of reminded me of, like, Fortnite, the video game, with the colors. You have the moon in the background. You've got, like, a big moon, and you got a small moon, and I don't know what this is in the top here. It may look like a reflection or something. I don't know what this is, but, like, pink grass and flowers in the ground. It's crazy. Uh, what this loading screen is. It's like last year EA went all out for future stars and you might be like, Nate, you're overanalyzing this dude. It's just a loading screen. They went out la all out last year with future stars and had like a promo video they uploaded to YouTube specifically for it. This kind of makes me feel like they're going kind of that same level again this year. Now, of course, on the loading screen, all we have is the regular future stars card and we have the future stars icon design, which we already knew about both of those. But if they're going this all out, for the loading screen guys like that gives me a actually a little bit of hope that the promo itself could be really good and there's some other things that's getting me excited specifically that i want to look at here in a second now i want to look at more leaked cards because with these icons and promo cards coming we had a lot more leaks yesterday we now have i would say just shy of a full team of players that could be coming into packs now general reminder this is usually a two-week promo so some of these cards that you see here in these leaks could actually be included in Team 2. Um, might not all be in Team 1. If it's going to be a two-week promo, we'll have to see. We've got Dino, of course. We had more icons leaked yesterday. Maldini, Wayne Rooney, Steven Gerrard, and Rijkaard. So, some nice icons there. I mean, the way that I think about it now, I know that I'm just going off the predicted stats for all these cards. I think it's going to be a big bro icon promo. I, I don't know if they're going to do little bro items for this. Maybe they do a little bro and a big bro. But, like, for Gerard and Rykard, they can't go any lower than their base icon card, right? For those, definitely it's a big bro card, 100%. Rooney, they got to go big bro, too. But then Maldini and Ronaldinho, you know, jury's out on that. We'll have to see. But the rest of the regular promo cards that have been leaked, we had a Harvey Elliott yesterday. We had a Lauren James, Pedro Neto, Pablo Barrios, Luke Ba, and Besek. Besek has a lot of hype, I think, as a German center back in Serie A. His inform card is pretty cracked. Harvey Elliott is going to be pretty exciting as well. Uh, Lauren James already has a couple cards this year. And then, um, yeah, Pedro Neto, I think he was very popular early on in the year for like a Centurion's Evo card. So, I mean, they added some solid players to the mix here. They really did, I'll be honest. I think there's still more names to be coming, more names to be leaked. But that looks, I would say it looks pretty good to me. But I think the things that I'm more excited for aren't regarding the future stars cards right i'm looking at some of the actual content that we usually see during future stars but looks like might be different this year and let's start kind of going that direction by talking about the future stars evo car design this was also tweeted out yesterday i'm gonna say this bro this looks better than the base design itself i know it doesn't have the gold around the outside but like I don't know what it is about like the blue. There's just like some extra blue in here. I think that car design looks sick. So that's an Evo design that I think I would want to have. Now, again, when you think about future stars, you think about what this promo is, what kind of evolutions could we be having? It makes you think right away of maybe an Evo similar to we had a couple of weeks ago called like Fast Forward, which is this one right here. Or like um, Patrick Who was an Evo where you took a really low rated car and you boosted them up to be something usable, right? That's kind of what you think when you think of like a future star evolution. And that may be one of the Evo types that we get during this promo. But will they kind of expound upon that? Will there be other ways to upgrade cards in this promo as well? Because one of the things that we have seen a lot before in future stars is this. And this right here is a screenshot of my video last year of the future stars academy right we had an anthony gordon where you started off with a low rated card of his you played through all the objectives you get a higher rated anthony gordon as you go and you work you work your way all the way to the 88 anthony gordon which is kind of in theory and kind of exactly what 
evolutions is now if you think about it right this was kind of like the beginning of evolutions it's just you ch you didn't have the choice of what card to put in but you still got to upgrade it over time the F the foot future stars academy is always a part of this promo and i think it's going to be a part of this year's uh future stars promo as well but how is it going to be different that's the thing that's getting me a little bit curious and it's honestly getting me kind of excited because look at this pack code that was added guys this tells us a lot there were two packs to the code that were added yesterday. There were uh, Future Stars Academy Attackers Pack and Future Stars Academy Defenders Pack. Now, this is not like just regular Future Stars cards, because if you look further on in the pack code, you see that there are other Future Stars cards that say, including two Future Stars player items. That would, of course, be these player items, right? So what in the world are Future Star Academy players? Is this like... Um, another promo team? Is this a set of players that's going to be in packs? Is this a set of players that's not even in packs? The opportunities here are kind of run wild and they kind of are endless, but this could be something that ends up being tied into either objectives or tied into SBCs or evolutions as well. Think about it. Maybe there's a certain rating guarantee where you can pack a certain player that's like a, your own future star and then you can evolve one of those. Maybe this is going to be like a 15 attackers pack where you can take somebody from this pack and choose them to put them into the Future Stars Academy Evolution or something like that, kind of like this, but in an Evo. Uh, like that right there, that seems cool. I, I think that seems pretty dope. I just don't know what this Future Stars Academy is because it sounds like there's a decent amount of players in it if there's a specific attacker and defender pack. So that is one of my biggest questions because that's something new never seen before and maybe they're going to add something with this future stars promo to try to bring the hype back to this game that is new that is something that we have never seen before uh and this has been a promo where they've tried new stuff like that with the future stars academy as we've mentioned in years past um maybe that is going to be a part of what comes out tomorrow in this game so i'm really curious to see if we get any more news any more leaks if this ends up being as big as it could be because future stars is always one of those promos where the SBCs and the objectives make the promo as cool as it is. Yes, the cards and packs are cool as well. And yes, of course, you want to try out the big name players like Arda Guler if you have the coins and stuff like that. The card designs of the future stars and the icons are not here in the game yet. Uh, we'll continue to look out for that. But that is one thing right now in this game that has got me kind of excited because these objectives have always been W's, like especially way back when uh, the Gordon last year was a little bit of a grind, took a good bit of work to get it done, but like this, this gets me pretty excited. Also, added to the code, some other big packs here guaranteeing Future Stars player items. There's an 83 times 50 with also an 87 times 10 inside of it. Future Stars Supernova pack. Of course, you guys, th you know they're going to go all out. What in the world? This pack is an 84 times 35 and five guaranteed 89 or higher players. It's all untradeable, of course, but... Wow, and that also guarantees you two Future Stars items. That's pretty crazy. But then also in here, I can't skip over this. You know this pack, right? One of the most popular packs of the past couple of years on this game. The 85 plus times 10 rare gold players pack. Seems kind of out of place for all the other Future Stars related packs that were added to the code here. But does that mean that is going to be in the store if that is in the store i mean we've had an 84 times 10 guys released as lightning rounds they haven't done it in a hot minute but that is absolutely destroyed fodder in the past so that'll be something i guess that we watch out for uh tomorrow on friday as we get the new promo and as we get lightning rounds maybe that could be a pack that's in the store um it also could be a very very minimal chance that it's an sbc there's also a decent chance that that could just be a pack that's been added to the game to be a part of the next season, which would be very possible as well. I mean, we've had 83 times 10s. We have 84 times 4s. Maybe it's going to be a little bit of a longer season. We have 84 times 20s in the season. The fact that we haven't had an 85 times 10 yet in this game is actually a little bit, I don't know, weird because I think it was last year or two years ago during winter wild cards, we had the first 85 times 10 of the entire year so we're a little behind right now to not have one of those in this game right now in my opinion we'll see how that get drop gets dropped and where it gets dropped but that is something that i noticed in that pack code that i thought was pretty interesting as well so yeah i have a lot of i'm really really curious to see what that future stars academy is like is that a separate pool of players are those a certain rating of players and i hope we get some more leaks and some more news about that today because that to me could be really really cool and there could be something that they're about to add to this game that would be really cool that would shake some things up now 
what else? How can we do to prepare for this, guys, as well? You notice when I'm sitting here in the store with some packs, uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Nate, don't save packs, dude. I have PTSD from Team of the Year. Don't do it. I'm going to save just a couple. As of right now, um, the 84 times 10, 11 is going to be the biggest one that I save for sure. It's just like, you know what? Might as well save it. I'm going to save my 83 times 10s from today's content release as well. Um, but these bronze and these silver packs, as you take a look at the players who have been added to this promo, most of them are non-rare golds. Um, you know, Goulair is a non-rare gold. Harvey Elliott's a non-rare gold. Garnacho, same thing. A couple of rare golds in here as well. But then also you got some silvers. Boniface is a silver, I think. Bisek, Barrios, and Luke Bar, I think, are all silvers. So you have actually the chance. And if they add in any more Future Stars players that have bronze base cards, you have the chance at packing promo cards from uh, bronze, silver packs for sure. And also don't sleep on exchange packs because if there's a lot of non-rare golds that are packable uh, as promo cards from this, you know, slipping an extra 85 to 89 rated card into an exchange might actually pay out really, really nice with so many gold cards available from these packs. So I'm even tempted to look in at my club and say, is there is there an 89 or something that I could stash into this that I would want to get rid of? Alex Morgan. Tempting, right? It'd be very tempting for me right now to do an Alex Morgan and an Irene Paredes just to have two of those duplicate exchange packs available for yes the chance to pack a future star especially if there's a lot of non-rares um in the promo for base cards but also just for the the fact of having a lot of uh, gold rares in the club and non-rares as well i know that right now the, the upgrade sbcs aren't the best with like the 82 plus upgrade and such but that's around for four days and that makes me think that ea wow ea wants this to stick around for a while so i might open those craft into an 82 plus and at least there should be an sbc during the weekend of future stars for us to have right here speaking of SBCs, we will be getting of course marquee matchups today right refreshes every single thursday that's not too crazy 83 times 10 refreshes today 85 plus player pick i do believe we're going to get syria player of the month today as well um and that would be vlahovic so watch out for a vlahovic SBC. i think he's going to be dropping either today or tomorrow and i think today might be my guess of how that would be today on this game too and um there was one more thing i was going to say about SBCs. ah icon SBCs. If any of you guys noticed, double check if you were thinking about doing Sawa and you thought you were running out of time, think again. EA extended the time frame on some of these Icon SBCs. Sawa, I think, had like seven days remaining. She now has 44 days if you wanted to get this SBC done. Get it done. George Best has got 40 days as well. Um, Cafu, Zico still have 30 plus days as well. Now, some of the other player SBCs like, um, like Bruno, Kavicha, Modric, Saliba, they've only got a couple of days left. Um, what's Bruno? Bruno's got 11 days left. I don't know if they extended him or not, but make sure you go ahead and get those done if those are of interest to you and, and notice that some of them got extended. So that is nice of EA actually for them uh, to go out there and to do that. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit too. I know today was a day where we were maybe thinking that Road to the Finals would dip down in price a little bit. And as I take a look at their cards on the market right now, guys, a lot of these a lot of these guys are still pretty expensive. They are still maintaining their higher prices, but that's just because there hasn't been any real reason for people to like panic, I guess. Uh, Sule is like now 300,000 coins. The content yesterday was really, really mid. So it's not like cards of this type are really starting to fly. They're just kind of, they're just kind of like staying the same. Some of them are up a little bit, but most of them are just kind of just chilling. Um, and I think today potentially with rivals rewards which i'm sure not a lot of people played and grinded rivals this week as motivation to play this game and beyond this game is down but it's still going to bring some tradable supply because people take tradable rewards all the time in rivals and then marquee matchups like everybody's going to do the tradable packs from mms um just because they're so easy to do and they're i mean it's not free but it's like really really easy to do everybody's going to do that that is going to bring some tradable supply to this game today um and it might make these cards drop a little bit i don't think we're going to see too big of a dip on road to the finals if I'm being 100% honest, maybe a slight dip. And then other than that, I am I think we're going to have to hope for and see good content, some sort of really good content on, um, on Friday to make these cards actually have a fall and another opportunity to get invested. Again, for some of these, I know that I've probably missed out on their lowest of the low price. Like, I mean, 
the the Leon Bailey that I bought earlier in the week at 190,000 coins on Sunday. Do I think Leon Bailey is going to be 190k again? I know we're getting a Doku in the promo team. I know we're getting some other Premier League attackers that maybe could make his price dip a little bit, but this is a live card. He's already guaranteed to get an upgrade because they're through to the round of 16. It's just going to take a while for him to get the upgrade. So, yeah, I believe that some of these cards could could continue to appreciate in value after this weekend. I'm just hoping that on Friday with the new promo, maybe some big news about something new that they're adding, kind of like as we were talking in the video today. Hope that would shake things up enough that maybe, just maybe there's an opportunity to create a little bit of panic because at this point, these cards aren't going to get packed that much. It's really guys going to take a little bit of panic selling or something along those lines to make these cards drop and be investable for a hold or to put one in your team. Um, and there's that possibility for that today with the supply, but also it's going to take some leaks. It's going to take some info. It's going to take something coming about future stars that's going to be cracked to make that really happen. But there should be a little bit more movement if you're trying to trade on out-of-packs cards. I think that today there should be a little bit more movement on some of these. I do believe that... Um, EA dropped the patch yesterday on old gen, and the rumor is is that Trivellas are definitely not near as good as they were before. So the only thing I would say is watch out for that if that drops today on new gen, because uh, I don't know how long it's going to be before old gen and new gen are synced up on the same patch. But right now, I do believe old gen has the patch, and Trivellas have definitely been nerfed. That is. That is the rumor. That is what I'm hearing. So I've only played new gen this year, so I'm not the best uh, to really comment on that. Let me know down in the comments if you have played old gen and if you're seeing that sort of same thing and happen right now in this game. Um, that's going to be a real interesting part of the weekend league for sure. If, if everybody has to change the way they're playing the game because they're used to Trivellas, maybe the technical dribbling. As I tweeted out yesterday, EA removed something. And as we talked about in the video, actually, EA removed one of the parts of the uh, pitch notes saying that they were going to change, um, what was it? They were, they were going to change the way that defenders uh, defended in the box. And yeah, that is, um, that's really interesting. So I don't know what's going on with that. I uh, don't know what's going to happen with the patch. I don't know when it's going to be out on new gen. It could be today again. It could be, could be a week. We'll have to see. Hopefully it's not too long that we have a different version on new gen than as we have on old gen. So I'm excited, guys. I really am. I know this last week has been kind of mid, but Future Stars is always a promo that at least brings something new and different to the table with the Future Stars Academy, which is always pretty solid. And honestly, with the new Academy things that we see right there in, in the pack code that we looked at, I'm a little bit excited just to see what in the world this game is about to look like in the next couple of days to see if EA is uh, going to do anything crazy so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the video tomorrow and i'll see you in the stream today that link is down below in the description peace